constituency. The chairperson of the National Heritage Council, Dr. Bennett Kangumu, has revealed plans to establish a museum at Katima Mulilo in the Zambezi region. He noted that the planning workshop is looking at a concept, what kind of museum, themes to be covered, objects to be collected, and who should do the collection of objects for display in the museum. Dr. Kangumu reminded the participants that certain historical realities, such as the geographical distance of the region from the central government, should be considered as it has been used by many people to describe the people of the region. Because of that geographical distance, there's the other reality of uh, cultural stereotypes, uh, which we cannot run away from. Because you are perceived as different, Maybe in some instances, even your cultures portrayed as, as inferior or as, as primitive. Look at all, get into the national archives and look at the colonial descriptions of this place. You'll see uh, what I'm talking about. Zambezi governor Alufea Sampofu said Namibia needs to have museums that inform, interpret and keep communities updated on domestic cultures traditions, arts, and social interactions. We had a liberation war which was waged in this country. We have to display that history, the stories of our early leaders uh, who opposed colonialism, stories about war, of liberation, and stories about our great leaders. European Union Ambassador to Namibia, Dana Haibaskova, who is part of the planning for the establishment of the museum, says that Katima Mulilo Museum should be a museum about identity and confidence. That this museum should be the museum of harmony, giving the confidence to people and peoples of Zambezi, that they know where they come from, that they are fine with it, they understand it. Their children get the message of understanding. Haibaskova is happy that the initiative is supported by the governor of the region as it builds own culture for not only the current generations but those to come.